Before watching this video, please watch our tutorial video for factoring by DP so that you can enjoy answering numbers 1 and 2. If you want to try to solve numbers 1 and 2, you can pause the video for a while. Then after answering, you can resume watching to check your work. So this is factoring by grouping. If you are done, let's solve number one. Factor the following. Or factor the following completely. Okay. Number one, 5x cubed minus 10x squared plus 3x minus 6. Now, let us group the expression first. So, group of 5x cubed minus 10x squared plus group of 3x minus 6. This time, get their greatest common factor. For this expression, our GCF is 5 and x squared. To get the other factors, let us divide. 5x cubed divided by 5x squared. That is simply x. Copy the sign minus 10x squared divided by 5x squared. That is 2. Copy the sign plus common factor is 3. 3x divided by 3, that is x, minus 6 divided by 3, that is 2. Now, do we have a common factor for these expressions? That is x minus 2. Just copy x minus 2. Quantity, copy the expression outside the parentheses. So we have 5x squared and positive. This is now our factor form. Next, number two. How did you get the same answer with number one? I hope so. Number two. First step, group. So we have 4m raised to 5 plus 6m cubed plus 6m squared plus 9. Now, get the common factor. For this expression, we have 2m, copy the lowest exponent of the variable q. 4 divided by 2, that is 2, m raised to 5 divided by m q, m squared. Plus, 6 divided by 2, that is 3, m cubed divided by m cubed plus so 3 now we have 6m squared divided by 3 that is 2m and 9 divided by 3 plus 3 for the common factor we don't have variable because 9 we don't have a variable now oh, this is a square Copy the common factors, 2m squared plus 3. And expression outside the parentheses, 2m cubed plus 3. Okay, that is the factoring by grouping. And this is now the final answer. Did you get the same answer in number 2? Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and I hope you answer our you enjoyed our factoring techniques for grade 8. Again, this, is, this lesson is very important because you're going to use it in your next lesson for grade 8, the rational expressions. If you haven't mastered, please uh, watch again and again, do more exercises, practice more problems. And that's all. Enjoy mathematics.